Hello everyone. One of our subscribers asked us this question. Why electron does not fall into the nucleus? And indeed, it's a very good question. I will try to answer this question in this video. Please watch it till the end and let me know in the comment section whether you agree with me or not. We all know that in an atom, the electron revolves around the nucleus. According to the Larmor formula in classical electromagnetism, a single point charge under acceleration will emit electromagnetic radiation or as we commonly say as light. This formula gives the power radiated by a single electron in terms of classical electron radius R suffix E and electron mass M suffix E. And in this formula, this letter A denotes the acceleration and C is the speed of light. Now this creates a problem here. Because if electron radiated energy, then its kinetic energy would decrease, electron would slow down and at one point of time, kinetic energy will be equal to zero and this loss of energy should cause electron to spiral rapidly into the nucleus and the atom should collapse. But this doesn't happen. Experiments prove that this doesn't happen. The Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment itself shows that most of the space in an atom is unoccupied. The nucleus is at the center of the atom and the electrons revolve around the nucleus in this empty space. And this experiment also concluded that the size of the nucleus is between 10 raised to minus 15 and 10 raised to minus 14 meter. That is the nucleus is so small that there are no chances of the electron being present in the nucleus. For more details on Rutherford's experiment, you can watch my two videos on alpha particle scattering and Rutherford's nuclear model of atom with the link up here and the link shall also be given in the description of this video. Now let's come back to our question. But why does electron not fall down into the nucleus? People say that this puzzle was not solved until quantum theory was introduced. But I feel that there are two classical and one quantum mechanical reason for this. First one is a simple answer that an electron is moving in a uniform circular motion with uniform speed, which means that the acceleration is zero here. So if electron is not accelerating, then it should not radiate energy as well. There is another classical non-radiation condition given by Hermann A. Haas. Haas finds that accelerated point charge will radiate if and only if it has Fourier components synchronous with waves traveling at the speed of light. But if the particle's speed matches up with the speed of light, then from Einstein's theory of special relativity, it should have infinite mass and would require infinite energy to move. Light has such speed because photons have zero mass. But we know that electrons have mass, right? So, electron cannot have speed of light and therefore it won't radiate energy. So, this was classical non-radiation condition. Now let's talk about quantum mechanical reason which lies in Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. According to this principle, it is not possible to measure both the position and momentum of a particle exactly at the same time. There is always some uncertainty in specification of position and some uncertainty in specification of momentum. Mathematically, the product of uncertainty in position and momentum is either greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi where h is the Planck's constant. The uncertainty principle allows the possibility that if uncertainty in position is zero, then uncertainty in momentum must be infinite. Similarly, if uncertainty in momentum is zero, the uncertainty in the position must be infinite and their product is non-zero. But what does this uncertainty principle has to do with the electron here? Let's apply this principle here and see what happens. Assume for a while that the electron radiated energy and has fallen down into the nucleus. Now as electron is in the nucleus, we exactly know its position, right? So there's no uncertainty in the position of electron now. Then according to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, its momentum should be infinite at that instance. But if the momentum of a particle reaches to infinity, then its velocity will be again equal to speed of light and this will also lead in infinite energy which is not possible. For more clear information of this concept, please watch this lecture on energy momentum relativistic relation and Compton effect.
the link is given up here and will also be given in the description of this video so momentum of electron became infinite leading the velocity of electron near to the speed of light but we did all this proof by assuming that electron has fallen down into the nucleus and now our results show that the electron is moving as fast as light which means that we made the wrong assumption so we can say that the heisenberg's uncertainty principle explains us why the electron does not fall into the nucleus now you can raise a question that okay electron doesn't jump into the nucleus but all of a sudden i jumped from classical to quantum physics because heisenberg's uncertainty principle is relevant only to quantum phenomena and i started off with a classical phenomena then my answer is wave particle duality a concept given by the prince de broglie he said that nature is symmetrical if wave can behave like a particle then particle can also behave like a wave and the matter waves associated with an electron could be verified by crystal diffraction experiments as well if you are interested in knowing more on de broglie's hypothesis and heisenberg's uncertainty principle you can watch my lecture on the same the link is given up here and shall also be given in the description of this video now i hope that you are convinced and will agree that the electron follows the set of rules of quantum mechanics and is a part of quantum phenomena after knowing these reasons so as to why electrons doesn't fall into the nucleus one can still have a doubt whether it is really a fact that electron doesn't radiate energy in early 1900s classical physicists also wondered that the electron didn't run out of energy while revolving around the nucleus rutherford's experiment also failed to answer this question niels bohr a student of rutherford solved this mystery with his atomic model in 1913 according to this model the electron revolves around the nucleus in definite orbits without losing energy and energy is needed by the electron if it has to move from a orbit closer to the nucleus to the orbit away from the nucleus he brought in the concept of quanta he told that the energy of an electron in hydrogen was quantized because it was in a specific orbit according to bohr the electrons have discrete energy states in which electrons can stably persist for example elevator or a lift has its limits right it can take you to discrete floors and not in between them of course if it is in good condition it won't take you to a floor number 2 and a half right or if you take an example of a railway station your train can arrive in platform number 1 2 3 and so on like in harry potter it won't arrive at platform number 9 3 by 4 or when i say that the elevator or a lift has its limits i mean to say that it can't take you below the basement in the same way there is a minimum energy state called ground state below which the electron cannot simply fall bohr boldly deviated from classical physics by stating that the electron doesn't radiate light while it accelerates around the nucleus in a single orbit but the radiation of light occurs only when the electron makes a transition from a higher energy level to a lower energy level and of course this situation is to be agreed by both classical and quantum mechanics i hope that you all like this video thanks for watching